Hello lovely people, uh, today just a little update on the trout that I'm growing uh, on the uh, holistic aquaponic system. So as you know I had a number of trout, uh, 25 to 30 trout uh, in this pond. Uh, they were quite big, quite big size and my aim was to push them to large trout, so to keep them for two years or almost two years and harvest them along on the way. Um, unfortunately something happened. So I was able to push them to a bit more than 800 grams. So uh, I was very happy with the size of the fish, but uh, again, I was really uh, going to keep them for a long period of time. Uh, but I had an issue uh, with my power supply. So it was my mistake. Uh, the, the electric connections uh, were not really good, it was not really waterproof, and uh, we had very heavy rain. Uh, so. I basically had uh, no power during the whole night. The, the power uh, uh, stopped. So no oxygen in summer, it was in summer, uh, in the pond. So as you can imagine, I had uh, a number of fish in the pond with high temperature. So uh, during the night, the fish all died. When I woke up in the morning, they were dead. So um, the good thing is that I was able to uh, get the fish and to consume them. They were still very fresh and uh, they were excellent. Uh, I, uh, I cooked them, I smoked them, and uh, the result was really amazing. So it was really good. The fish uh, were not a waste, but uh, I was not able to keep them and to push them. However, it gave me the opportunity to improve uh, the system. So instead of having um, uh, wires that were plugged a bit the old way, you know, that it was not really professional, uh, I always had in mind to, uh, to dig a trench in the soil and to bury the cables and do it properly. But uh, this was a wake up call. So um, I really did this job and now all the connections uh, for the aquaponic system are waterproof. I also took also this opportunity to move the air pump because I have an air pump in this pond. I mean, not in the pond, but aside the pond with air stones in the pond. That's what I recommend for growing trout. And uh, the air pump was aside the pond. It was making a little noise that you could hear outside. It was not something that I really liked. So since I was uh, digging the trench for the electricity and for the power, co power connections, um, I also buried uh, an air pipe and, uh, and also a water pipe. So the water pipe is coming from uh, a water tank that is in the shed that I built. And uh, so in the shed now, I have the air pump and uh, the, the, the rain uh, tank. And all this is connected uh, uh, with, uh, with cables and pipes uh, underground uh, to, the, to the connections of the ponds. So basically now there is no noise around the pond at all. And that's something I really enjoy. It's uh, now uh, quieter and uh, it's much better for me. Uh, in terms of fish, so, as I said, uh, my fish died, so I had to uh, add new fish. So, uh, what I added in the pond, I added uh, 300, a bit more than 300 uh, re uh, golden trout. So, they looked amazing, they were fingerlings. So, when I uh, put them in the pond, they were a bit less than 6 grams, if I remember, 5.8 grams each. So, very, very small fish, uh, probably uh, that size and uh, I kept them for a few months uh, and they grew extremely fast so now here uh, we are end of April and the fish I'm not sure about the size but we're gonna fish a few and we're gonna have a look but they are quite big now I also uh, took this opportunity to add some brook trout that's a fish that I really wanted to keep in aquaponics for a while and I'm testing it at the moment it's the result is amazing the fish look amazing the only thing is obviously brook trout when you look from the top they are gray so you don't really see them uh, in the pond personally I know uh, how they look like and I can really spot them straight away but if you look at the pond uh, anyone come here will only see the golden trout because they are golden and you really see them on the dark background for all the brook trout and the silver perch, you can't really uh, see them easily. So what I suggest now is to fish a few of those uh, uh, golden trout and uh, brook trout. We're going to see how beautiful the fish are. The brook trout are really amazing. And uh, we're going to do an average weight to see uh, where we are and what type of biomass we have in the pond. I already sold uh, probably 100 trout, so I still have 200 trout 
that's a lot of fish for this pond, right? Uh, I guess the biomass is quite high, so I have to keep this in mind and to check my nitrate concentration. Also another thing, those plants here, they have been growing so well and with really big leaves. So obviously I got my uh, grow beds with kale, with uh, cabbage and uh, uh, silver beet. A lot of veggies are growing, right, from this aquaponics pond. I also got all those ornamental, pond, ornamental plants, uh, papyrus and a lot of other plants, aquatic plants and semi-aquatic plants that are growing ar around the, the pond and it's really helping to absorb all the nitrogen. So uh, by having a holistic approach to aquaponics, I am really able to boost the quantity of fish that I'm able to keep in this aquaponic system. Three hundred fifty four grams. So what we can see, we can see the tiger back. You see all the dots? It's lovely. And then you can see on the fins, you got a, a white lizard on the side of the fins. You can see it here. And there are some uh, red dots as well. They are fantastic fish. Six hundred sixteen grams for four fish. So I received those fish end of February and we are now end of April. So it's been two months. Uh, for the golden trout, they went from 5.8 grams each to a bit less than 100 grams today. And for the brook trout, they were just a bit above 10 grams, so 10, 12 grams. And they are now uh, around 150 grams each. So I have done everything to uh, push those fish to grow as fast as possible because I would like to see the potential uh, that we have in an aquaponic system like this one, how quickly I can grow the fish to plate size. But you can see already that in two months uh, they did more than 10 times uh, their original weight. Uh, and I guess I just need them to double their weight now to reach the plate size for the brook trout and for the golden trout a bit more than that. So it's just gonna take a few more months and I can start to harvest the fish. This is completely crazy what we can do in the backyard with holistic aquaponics. If you're interested by aquaponics, I really recommend you to get the free aquaponics guide from the description of this video. Uh, it's a step-by-step -step, uh, beginner guide to give you some uh, basic information about aquaponics and to avoid the very uh, general mistakes that we see all the time. So I hope this uh, video was uh, helpful and uh, interesting. And if you have any question, uh, you have a comment section below the video where I'm happy to interact with you. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.